Well, it's 2022 already. Let's talk about my uh, reading and channel goals for this year. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be talking about my 2022 reading and channel goals. Now I'll start with the channel goals and what I want to achieve and things like that and then I'll go into what I'll be reading this year. So uh, to begin with, my first goal of the year would be to obtain 500 subscribers, which I think is quite reasonable. Once I obtain um, that amount of subscribers, I'm gonna get a much more clearer indication of what is the best content to put on my channel so uh, hopefully uh, by December I can get to the 500 mark which would be very nice another goal I've got is to just once do a video on one take without all the errors that have to be edited out because uh, it's time consuming and uh, it's embarrassing as well so hopefully uh, one of these days I will will nail a video with one single take, which uh, is something good to aim for, I think. Now, earlier in November, I did a Stephen King segment called The Works of Stephen King Revisited, where I planned on <clears throat> reading one of uh, King's backlist novels and compare the novel to its adaptation or movie. And I did one for Needful Things, which uh, didn't get too many views for that. And I think uh, I'm going to temporarily scrap that segment. If it's not working, I won't do it. But I think if I get a lot more subscribers over this year and the demand is there, I'll certainly look at it again. What I'd prefer to do is uh, explore Dean Koontz's backlist a little bit and uh, talk him up because he is uh, a very underrated author who uh, isn't well known in some countries so uh, stay tuned for that now i'm going to increase my book review output as well so a lot of the books i read i won't review every single book i read this year but i am going to review quite a few now i'm going to be doing that instead of weekly updates i think uh, monthly wrap-ups are sufficient uh, for my channel. I don't need to be uh, telling everyone about my week because most weeks I would be in the process of finishing one book or in the right in the middle of a book. So there's nothing too exciting to report there. I can't really report on channel growth because it's uh, in its early stages, which is very hard to uh, talk about channel growth as such, but that will come later. Okay, and so as I said, Dean Koontz will be discussed uh, in a, f a fair bit on this channel. Now his novels aren't massive, so it's gonna be easy for me to uh, read through his backlist and hopefully get a third of that done this year. And uh, I know that Brian Durfee over on his channel, he uh, is reviewing all the Dean Koontz books as well, and he's doing a good job there. So uh, you need to check his page out and subscribe to him. He's uh, very good, he's very, down to earth, very honest, and uh, does a great video. So check him out. So there's going to be book hauls. Everyone loves those videos, including me. I like watching uh, booktubers uh, unbox their purchases or what they've acquired over the month. And uh, it's just really interesting to see uh, what they buy. And uh, it gives you really good ideas of what your next read might be. You might discover an author that you've wanted to try for a little while and someone has actually bought those books and you think, oh yeah, well look, I'll, I'll look at those as well. So it's very good word of mouth um, on book recommendations and everything like that for uh, fellow readers, which I think is really important. I'm going to be putting out top 10 videos. They're also popular. They get a few views on the channel, which uh, I've got to pay attention to that so that I'm putting out relevant content that can increase the traffic and the interest. So as I said, there will be monthly wrap ups, but no weekly updates. Now in February, something very exciting is going to be uh, happening there. I'm going to be participating as a co-host on uh, February Fantasy Stories, which is an initiative put in place by my new friends, Brian and Becky 
uh, over at Bookish Bryant. They've got a really good page. Uh, it's all about books. Uh, what more could you want? Uh, they've got a really good page there, so make sure you check that out. And I'm going to be featured along uh, other booktubers such as The Booklectic with Brandy, Ian Porter over at B&B, uh, Jason White at Weird Reads, uh, The Nerdy Narrative with Leslie and Stephen Donahue, just to name a few there. So something I'm really excited about. Uh, I still have to make my selections on what uh, book of fantasy stories I'm going to be reading. I've got a couple of ideas, but nothing set in stone just yet. Now, uh, what else have I got? So uh, that's basically the channel goals. So uh, if I put those uh, initiatives in place and put that content out there, it'll be it'll be very interesting to see how much traffic I get and potential subscribers and that sort of thing. And uh, nothing is set in stone. It uh, you know if anyone recommends something for me to do on the channel i'm open to anything at all so if anyone has any suggestions or feedback or something they'd like to see on this channel i'm all ears send me the comments and i'll take anything on board okay now let's get into my reading goal so uh the amount of books i've set for myself this year is a, a pretty modest 60 60 books i don't want to put too much pressure on myself uh, I know that 60 books is achievable. I know there's going to be some thick ones put in there, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I think it's a reasonable goal. And I'll be getting stuck into Malaz and Book of the Fallen. I'm currently uh, looking at starting book number five. Now, I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, my January TBR has changed, so I'll go into that in a little bit more detail. But I'm giving myself until the end of the year to finish Malazan, uh, Book of the Fallen. I did originally say that I'd like to finish it by the end of June this year, but I don't think that's going to happen. They are challenging books to read, and there is so much, um, so many books out there that I want to read this year that uh, you know I want to get through those as well. So I'm sort of shuffling Malazan back a little bit. Okay, now. I want to get stuck into Tad Williams' Memory, Sorrow and Thorn, and I want to look at, uh, you know, exploring a couple of uh, new authors to me, like Michael J. Sullivan. I want to look at Wheel of Time. I want to look at Game of Thrones, or at least start one or two of those series, uh, but just not sure which one yet. I also want to look at finishing the Dresden Files this year. Uh, they're pretty short books. I'm up to book number four. And, uh, you know, there's 20 odd books in this series, but I don't think I'll have much of an issue getting through those. Usually I uh, get through one in three or four days, so no, no dramas there. I want to also continue uh, a bit of crime this year as well. I really want to get stuck into some crime. I've uh, left that on the back burner for a little while, while I've been getting stuck into fantasy last year. So I want to get uh, maybe three or four more books read in the Roy Grace uh, series written by Peter James so uh, you know Peter James puts a lot of short chapters in his books which makes it very manageable to read those very quickly I also want to look at Dean Koontz which I mentioned before I really want to explore his backlist because uh, I've read the first two books he ever wrote and because I've been reading Koontz for a lot of years now and his work is to such a point that he cannot get any better. Reading his earlier stuff really opens your eyes as to um, his writing style at the time. It, uh, you can tell that uh, he's just beginning his career. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take that journey and uh, just go through as many of his backlist titles as I can this year. And uh, I'll look at reviewing those. And I've got a review of Chase and Shattered coming up shortly. So. Uh, over the next week or so, I'll put those two reviews up on the channel. And uh, in terms of crime, continuing on with that, I want to get stuck into NYPD Red, numbers two to six. I really want to just uh, finish that series. Uh, it won't take me long. And again, that's going to play a part in my revised January TBR. And I'm going to tie up some loose ends as well. I'm going to finish The Demon Cycle. I will finish uh, the fifth title, The Core. And I'm also going to finish uh, The Magician Trilogy by Raymond D. Feist. I want to finally complete uh, Darkness at Sethanon because I do want to go on and read the trilogy 
uh, he wrote with Jenny Wirtz about uh, the empire on the other, other side of the rift, which will be very interesting. And then after I read that, uh, perhaps next year I might look at a lot more of uh, Raymond Feist's stuff because there is a large body of work there which I'm sure I'll enjoy. Okay, now I have hinted in previous videos that I'm going to branch out a little bit uh, in terms of my reading tastes. Uh, last year I actually uh, got out of my comfort zone and read The Tattooist of Auschwitz which was an incredible book and I'm really interested in the subject. I want to uh, read a few non-fiction titles about the subject because it, I think it's important to remember what happened and I also think it's important to, for me to respect what those uh, poor people went through and even though the subject matter is quite confronting and very unpleasant to read still think it's important for me to not be as ignorant about what went on uh, in that uh, hell on earth so uh, I'd like to develop more of an appreciation for what people went through there. So going outside my comfort zone a little bit there. So that's the plan for 2022. And what I wanted to just mention is that I have revised my January TBR. Originally I had uh, Midnight Tides by Steven Erickson in there. Um, I've taken that out of my TBR and replaced it with uh, um, several other books. So originally I was and am going to read Clive Cussler's The Devil's Sea. I'm also going to be reading, as planned, Summer Night by Jim Butcher. And I've added four more, so I'm going to be reading, which I'm about to start tonight as a matter of fact, is Icebound by Dean Koontz. I've also added in NYPD Red 2 and NYPD Red 3 and I'm going to look at starting the Cormor and Strike series by uh, Robert Galbraith or JK Rowling which is The Cuckoo's Calling so uh, I want to see what that's like and if I like it I'll buy the box set because uh, you can get that for 50 bucks at the moment so uh, that is what the TBR looks like. The reason I've dropped Midnight Tides off is because I started it this weekend and just could not get into it. It's you know I've read the first 50 pages and it's completely confused me and um, I'm not in that mental place where I can actually dive into a really thick dense book at the moment. What I'd like to do is uh, get stuck into some shorter reads without committing to two or three weeks for one particular book when I've got uh, literally hundreds of books waiting to be read. So as I said earlier in the video, Malazan is going to be pushed back a little bit. I will get back into it, but uh, there's other things I want to read first and I don't want to be bogged down with a dense book. So that is that. Please offer any suggestions um, for the channel in the comments below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, I'll respond to uh, any and all comments there. So uh, thank you for watching and until next time, see ya.